Welcome back to Fortune Travels, your number one spot for food, travel, and spirituality. Come with me on my journey as I travel the world and eat my way to enlightenment. <laughs> No, not really. Okay, so in this video, I'm gonna talk about my number one recommendation for a meditation retreat for beginners in Thailand. Pathé meditation is the best meditation retreat for beginners, point blank, period. Many people come to Thailand for parties, drinking, the beach, but Thailand has this other side to it. In fact, it's the exact opposite side of what most people would expect to see at the beach. And that is going inward and meditating. I'm talking about the 100 plus meditation retreats that Thailand has to offer. And in this video, I'm going to talk about my number one meditation retreat for beginners, okay? This is for the people who don't necessarily want to meditate six hours a day for 10 days straight without a phone or anything else to do. This is for the people who are interested in meditation, but really either A, haven't really dived deep into that aspect of their <laughs> life, or B, don't even know what meditation is and are just curious about the practice. If you are one of these people, or really all of the above, this place is for you. The first reason why I feel like Pape Meditation Retreat is the best place for beginning meditators is their flexibility. I love that Pape isn't too strict on the whole phone policy and internet policy. So whether you're working remotely or preparing to go back for work after your month of a long vacation, Pape is the place where you can have the option to disconnect or stay connected. You can choose to have that digital detox by staying off your phone for one or two days and then be connected again, or choose to stay connected the whole time. The choice is completely yours and the staff won't really say anything about this. They just want to encourage you to at least just start the practice of meditation. The schedule is also super flexible. The daily schedule consists of a 5.30 meditation in the morning, at around 6.15 you do alms round, 7.30 is breakfast, and let me tell you it's delicious, 10 o'clock is the late morning meditation, 11.30 is lunch, and then there's really nothing else to do until about 6.30 for the evening meditation. So you literally have this like long chunk of time where you can either choose to meditate or read a book or just really focus on yourself during that time. The schedule is pretty open, so even if you get up a little late or don't eat breakfast, no one will come knocking on your door wondering where you are. They leave it up to you. But one thing I would recommend is that you do the full schedule on your first day, just to get the full experience to see what part of the schedule fits you and what doesn't. The second reason Pape is the best meditation retreat for beginners is that you get a taste of monk life. And this is one thing that I actually found here at Pape that I didn't find in other retreats. I mean, they still have some of these activities, but I feel like here it's a little bit more immersed in the local culture as well. And you can immerse yourself in this culture so much so <laughs> that you can become a monk yourself. And I will talk about that more later in this video or make another video about it. In the mornings, you get to go on alms round and go get food from the villagers with the monks. When I went to other retreats, they didn't really encourage the foreigners to participate in this activity, but I feel like it's a really important part of the Buddhist culture in Thailand. So I really like that this retreat actually encouraged the foreigners to participate in this. You can also participate in the ordaining ceremonies and see the whole process of monks becoming monks from the hair cutting to the actual robe ceremony. And because Pape is in a small village, you get to participate in some of the activities of the village. For example, I was able to go to a village celebration. I think it was in honor of a Buddhist holiday. I'm gonna be honest, I don't know which one, but I love it because it was their version of a festival. And I loved that it was with a lot less people and that they also invited the foreigners at Pape to come and experience part of this culture and part of their celebration. Again, this is something that I haven't seen at other retreats. I'm not saying that they don't have it, but this was something that I thought was pretty special about Pape. Third thing that makes Pape ideal for meditation beginners is that there are so many spaces to meditate. Now I'm not going to go over all of them, but I'm going to go over the few popular and probably favorites. One of my favorite places to meditate 
at Poppy Meditation Retreat is the Sunset Hall, which has a beautiful view of the surrounding mountains. And in my opinion, is the perfect place, not just to meditate, but also just to really take in the beauty of the countryside that you're in. And one of my favorite secret things to do is to go here at night to watch the stars. Unfortunately, I don't have a video of that, but instead I'm gonna show you one of my friend's videos of one of the most beautiful sunsets that occurred at this meditation retreat. Another one of the favorite meditation halls is the Moon Hall, where you will have your 10 o'clock morning meditation. It's one of the best places to just meditate in nature and hear the sounds of running water right next to you. And if you're somebody who really focuses by having water around them, then this is the perfect place for you. And on that note, there's actually an even better place. And that is the River Hall. It is so beautiful. And now this place is a little bit more challenging to find because it is placed a little outside of the Pape Meditation Retreat grounds. But if you just ask one of the staff, they will be more than happy to show you where it is. And last but certainly not least is my personal favorite, the Meta House, which is one of the two tree houses located on the grounds of Pape Meditation. I love the tree house because it's hidden away from everything else. And I love this space because not many people go to it. So I feel like it's the perfect space for introspection and reflection. I really love the solid tool that you can find in this space. The fourth reason why Pape is perfect for beginners is that they have these activities. They usually occur at the times of 2, 3, or 4.30 and they range in activity type. One of my personal favorite activities is going to the hot springs. Now this doesn't occur every day but I love that they give you an opportunity to cook an egg in the hot spring and just relax and really enjoy the view and enjoy some of the natural wonders that Pape has to offer. They don't do this every day like I said but they probably go to the hot spring about once a week so if you're lucky you'll be able to go and experience this. And if not, you can always get your moto or get a taxi to go to this hot spring. Um, what I especially like about this hot spring is that mostly locals are there. And so usually it's pretty quiet and it's just a really great space to just really sink deeper within and just be present. Another activity that they have here at Pape is helping out, just helping out around Pape. You can help build the garden or help some of the construction workers build some of the buildings that are under construction right now, like this stupa or pagoda that is being built currently. And honestly, I wouldn't volunteer my assistance to build the pagoda because I'm not a construction worker and this stuff looks really complicated. But if you're confident in your construction skills, I'm sure they would be more than happy to have your help. Another activity that I was lucky enough to participate in was volunteering with some of the local schools. And this was more my speed. It was great to interact with some of the students, especially some of these students coming from farming backgrounds. I loved some of the uniforms that they had and I loved the cultural expression in these uniforms. Some of these students actually came from um, tribal families and so it was just a really neat cultural exchange that um, was able to occur and I just felt so privileged to be able to experience this and teach them some English and a little bit about meditation that I learned at Pape. So again, there's like something for everybody here. And if you don't want to do the activities and you just want to hang out at Pape, you can also do that too. There's no pressure. This is one of the best things about Pape Meditation Retreat. The fifth reason why Pape is perfect for beginners is the food. <laughs> it's so good here. It's so delicious. They have vegetarian options. They have meat options i guess or normal eating or carnivore options whatever you want to call it they even have fruitarian options which i really like about this actually they have fresh fruit out every day for people to eat and that was something that i hadn't really seen as much in other retreats that i went to another reason why Pape is the best meditation retreat for beginners is the cost now here in thailand there are actually a lot of meditation retreats that are done by donation Pape included, but I love how they make these retreats so accessible to all types of travelers and people from different types of backgrounds, different types of incomes. 
and I think this is so important and it's something that I didn't really see traveling to other countries especially in the states some of these retreats can cost you a lot of money but I love that this retreat in particular has a suggested donation of about $15 a day and this includes everything from the activity to the food and to the place you're staying at which sometimes if you're lucky means you have your own cabin to yourself and a lot of the food is freshly made actually all of the food is freshly made so I feel like it's a pretty sweet deal especially if you're traveling on a budget so if you can't afford to pay the $15 a day it is by donation so you can always pay what you can and if you are interested you can also just volunteer at this location but you just need to make sure to ask the staff if it's okay so there you have it <laughs> this is why Pape meditation is the best meditation retreat for beginners and I just love because it's like it's in a place that is surrounded by love compassion and kindness and I think this is one of the best spaces to really get into meditation and start learning about it for those of you who normally follow me I apologize that this isn't my normal vlogging style but I really wanted to take this opportunity to give a more immersive explanation of you know one of my favorite meditation retreats in thailand and for my followers i really encourage you guys to visit this place this is the perfect space to just get into meditation and if you guys need any help with getting in touch with them go ahead and just click on the link below or feel free to dm me on instagram if you guys have any questions okay i will see y'all next time peace